very strong year 2021, as you mentioned, strong growth, uh, 13%. Uh, we reached a level of 17% operating margin, which is one year in advance of our original co commitment at 173 and for the first time, the historical level of more than 5 billion, uh, which is really important to us. Probably the most striking is the progress of the net income, uh, plus 50%, and you spoke about it, on our operating cash flow growing by 20%, while we took um, the decision to build some safety strategic stock to face the demand which is in front of us. As we go into 2022, uh, we see electrification and digitization, which are the pillars of our strategy for decarbonizing processes as keeping on having a very strong demand. So we give a guidance of seven to 9% of growth on keeping on uh, progressing our operating margin, thanks to that, uh, that good volume. And I'm, I'm quite proud of what the teams have achieved because on one side, the demand for what we do for our technologies is extremely strong, but we've been facing all the issues you've been mentioning before, uh, still a pandemic, which makes things difficult, uh, tension on the supply chain, seeing this very strong demand on, on this very strong high supply that we need to provide, and with on, on cost impacts uh, that we had to weather through on, on manage through the year. But I would say a very balanced and rounded uh, um, uh, year 2021 for Schneider. Jean Pascal, we keep hearing from the central banks that this inflation story will start to fade around the second half of this year. Is there any sign yet that some of the pressures are coming off costs in your supply chain that you will in fact see the playbook that central banks are talking about? Look, I, I don't see that at the moment because, uh, again, we are in structural inflection points at Schneider. Um, the move to electrification is really accelerating. The visible part of it is electric mobility, but you see that in uh, heating and, and uh, HVAC in buildings. You see that in every part of the application we deal with. You see that in industry. Digitization since the COVID has been massively accelerated. Uh, so we see a very strong demand for everything we are providing for efficiency, energy efficiency and process efficiency, and that will have uh, an effect all over the year 2022. What we have committed to is to be net positive. That means that we compensate uh, in pricing the effect, the effect of, of inflation on raw material, freight, on, an el on electronics. Uh, and for the rest, we manage it through productivity on managing our own costs. 